Hi, it's Alaska Granny. As preppers, we know we need emergency long-term food storage. Most people start with their extra long-term food storage with things like rice and beans, knowing that they can last for 30 years. So knowing how to prepare and cook your beans is an important skill to master. Well, here's a very easy recipe for how to make beans in the crock pot. Today's recipe is for soup beans or white beans and pinto beans cooked with either ham, bacon, or for some kind of a sausage. Measure one half pound of white beans and one half pound of pinto beans and rinse them very well. Soak your beans in a large pot of water for three to four hours. You can see after you've soaked your beans, some of the bean skins on the beans start to pop up. So you want to rinse them very well at least two times so that you remove any of the skins or any debris that's still in your bean mixture. Now you want to put them in your crock pot with 8 to 10 cups of water depending on how much your crock pot holds. And today I'm going to cook them with some chopped up bacon. You can also use ham, spam, sausage, whatever meat you have on hand. The true secret to making the best soup beans is the low and slow. Low on your crock pot with the lid on for 18 hours. It seriously seems like an insane amount of time, but if you really cook your soup beans, low and slow for 18 hours. Oh my goodness, they will be the best beans that you've ever had. This makes a lot of food. What's nice is that the sauce is very savory and delicious and if you have leftover sauce, add water to make it equal two cups. Add a teaspoon of Creole seasoning, one cup of rice, and let it simmer for 20 minutes and you'll have, oh my goodness, your leftover bean sauce into some yummy delicious rice, which can be great on a tortilla with cheese. You can mix in some Spam. You can add sausage. Add any of the leftover beans in that you might have. There are just all kinds of ways that you can use these up. I prefer to cook the beans just with water. I don't add any seasoning except for the meat but you can if you like. If you like your beans spiced up with onions and green peppers, you may want to consider stockpiling some number 10 cans of dehydrated peppers and onions along with your beans in your food storage. Try making beans in your crock pot. See if it isn't simple and an economical way to stretch your food budget. If you like my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might enjoy it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com and please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.